Hey everybody, welcome back to this express route series. This is part two of the video series of the express route. If you haven't done so, please check out the first video where it explains what we're going to be doing in this demo. So let's get right into it and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learned something. If there's anything that I missed, please leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Let's do it. Um, the diagram is the one that we're gonna look at first. The diagram shows us the two V-nets and how they're supposed to be set up. I think I made a mistake and I will point it out in a few minutes. So what we're gonna look at is we have two V-nets the prod v-net the prod v-net has three subnets the subnet three subnets which is the firewall subnet the server subnet and the gateway subnet the firewall subnet is where i made a mistake the five and the two need to be transposed so it's a 10.2.5 and so and the routing table is, has to be the same as well 10.2.5 apologize about that so as far as this here, as you can see, server subnet uh, is a 10.2.1, firewall subnet 10.2.5, and then also the gateway subnet. That's what we have here. On the new VNet, we only have one subnet, which is the server subnet. In order to add a gateway subnet, all we need to do is just click on gateway subnet, and then it picks up values automatically. However, we want to use the 10.1.2. So change that. As you can see, the route table, it says none. We're going to adjust that later. We're going to leave it at none for now. So save. So this creates the gateway subnet. Okay, next thing, next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we have that express route connection. Okay, so now let's look at the where, where we can find the locations. Let's go to this website here, and it says Express Route Peering Locations and Connectivity Partners. So again, this right here is what tells you where the Meet Me location is. Let's look at Los Angeles. There's a Los Angeles and Los Angeles 2. Los Angeles 2 actually is by Equinix. Los Angeles is by course site so i want to go with equinex if i click on equinex la1 here in this link this is telling me where the connection is it says that it's at 600 west 7th street in los angeles california so this is the meet me location here so let's go back to the portal let's look for express route express route circuit Configuration again, everything the provider. I'm gonna say it's Equinix peering location uh, Los Angeles 2. Bandwidth is 50 megabits per second metered, everything remains the same. And create. Okay, deployment, deployment is complete. Let's go to resource. Here is the uh, interesting thing. What I was saying is that you can create an express route circuit without really finishing all the way through. Uh, we created an express route. What you would have to do now is if you notice, there's a service key here. This service key is the one that you would give to your service provider. So you would call Equinix and say, I just created an express route you give them this this service key they are able to provision that link and take it from there once the link is provisioned then at that point you're going to see that the azure private is going to be provisioned it's going to tell you the primary subnet it's going to tell you all the all the information about that there's also if you remember from our discussion there is this section here called the Microsoft Peering for Office 365. That's this one right here. As you can see, it says Microsoft uh, Peerings, Azure Private, Public, and Microsoft. Microsoft's the one that is typically 
the one that we choose. So that's the one that is going to show provision if you have it provisioned as well. So that is usually how it works. When it says provision, that's, that's because the service provider has given you that, con that circuit already. So the next thing we would do in this case is under the virtual networks, if we go to prod VNet, um, we notice that we do have a, a gateway subnet. This is where the gateway is, gonna, is going to go. So let's go to virtual network gateways. Let's create a virtual network gateway. It's going to be in that subscription. FMD VGW prod is going to be in West 2. Uh, this one, the gateway type is going to be express route because it's going to be connecting to an express route. So that's important. The SKU is going to be standard and the virtual network is going to be prod VNet. And if you can, if you notice it automatically picks up the gateway subnet, that's because it always does that. I public IP address, create new. We have to give it a name, express route, public IP. Tags, no tags. Create. This usually takes about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna just speed it up or pause the video so you can, so we can get to the, to the other section quicker. Well, that gateway is created. I'm gonna also create the other gateway in the new VNet just because it takes a very long time. It's gonna be express route as well. This is going to be the new VNet. So now we have two gate, two virtual gateways deploying. One of them is 13 minutes. The other one is still deploying. So I'm going to pause the video. I'll come back when these two have finished. Okay, one deployment succeeded, the other one's still going. While this is happening, let's go back to our checklist. It says create a VNet peering between the new VNet and the prod VNet. So let's go ahead and do that while we're waiting. So we are gonna go to the virtual networks. Prod VNet peerings. Let's add a peering. We're gonna call it two new VNet peer, allow traffic, allow traffic. We're not going to use this as the gateway or the router. The reason is because remember, we need that traffic to flow up to the internet, not through the firewall up to the MPLS. So we're going to leave it as none for the remote. We're going to say um, two prod vnet here we're going to say okay it's going to be this is going to be as in the other subscription pay as you go subscription and is the new new sub new vnet subnet a same idea same 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 uh, options we're going to click add So added virtual network peering, virtual gateways. Now we're gonna go to the express route circuit. So this is the one that is enabled. So once you have here and it says provision right now, again, it's not, it's not provisioned yet. But what you can do here is you can go to um, connections. And here you can say the circuit is not yet provisioned, but when it's provisioned, you can click on connections and you can click add and this is where you would add your your gateway your virtual gateways for the vnets now because the vnet is in a different subnet when you try to configure the virtual gateway in the new vnet you have to come here to this authorization section click here you can click the name 
test authorization. And once you do that, then it tells you the status and then it gives you this authorization key. This authorization key is the one that you need in order to create that connection because it's in a different sub, excuse me, it's in a different subscription. If it was in the same subscription, you did not need this authorization key. But again, because it is, uh, cancel, save. Because it's in a different subscription, you need to create this authorization. It's a must. And as you will notice right now, when this is done, it'll give us the authoriz authorization key. So you copy this to the clipboard, then you go to the connections, and then you can add a connection. When you are connecting the other subscription, the subscription A in this case, this is when it's gonna ask you for that authorization for you to be able to do that. Okay, assuming that this took place and this is working, then the next thing is you would create two route tables, as we say in the in our checklist. So we're gonna go back here and we're gonna say route tables create we're gonna create one in the pay as you go subscription because this is where the the vnet the new vnet is so we're gonna call it srv route table propagate gateway routes we're gonna say no remember that was one of the things that we needed to make sure that is not propagated and create okay let's create another route table vgw route table we are going to propagate this one so let's leave it at that so what this does is it creates empty route tables so if we go to route tables we're gonna see the SRV route table. The other one will show up in a minute. But this one, SRV route table, when you click on it, uh, it doesn't have any routes. It's pretty much empty. So at this point, we're gonna say routes. And based on our, our checklist, we're gonna add those entries. So let's, go, let's call it two on-prem Select destination, um, it's gonna be IP addresses. Destination, we said 10.8.0.0 slash 24, excuse me, eight. Well, I guess it's because it wants zero like this, which is fine. Uh, next hop is going to be a virtual appliance and it's going to be the 10.2.5.4, which is the firewall IP address. And we're gonna say, done. We are going to add another one. We're gonna call it to internet destination IP address. Zero, 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 slash zero. The next hop is gonna be internet. So this is going to show that right there. The first one, 0, 0, 0 is gonna to go to the internet and we're gonna click add. So that is the route table. That route table is the one that we, we will assign. We're not gonna assign it yet just because we're gonna follow the checklist that we have. So then at this point, we are going to refresh and here's the VGW route table. So let's go ahead and open this one. Let's go to routes. Let's add based on our checklist here. We're going to add only one entry. Um, to VGW route table, select destination. IP address destination is the 10.1.0.0 .0 .0 
slash 16. The next hop is going to be a virtual appliance. Ten dot five dot ten dot two dot five dot four, which is my firewall, and click add. And that's it. Okay, now what we're gonna do the next step in our um, checklist is we're gonna assign the route tables. There you go. So the assignment has been done. Now the the route tables are in place. And that pretty much does the routing. So that's how you set up the routing when you have an NVA. You set up the peering connection, then you set up the routing, and then you the the key is the propagation to make sure that you understand that you propagate one, the one that is assigned to the BGW subnet, and the other one you set it to no, do not propagate. I know that was a lot of information that we have to cover. I hope you learned something. If you like the video, please make sure you like it and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much and until next time, take care.